everyone and welcome to my art channel. As you might have noticed, this particular video is going to be a little bit different than what I normally like to do on my channel. <laughs> so recently my sister has reached out to me with a very specific request to make a sample of an art piece that's been created using natural things. And when I say natural, I really mean things like sticks, leaves, um, rocks, shells, pine cones, acorns, and um, basically all the things that you find lying around in your backyard or front yard or outside. <laughs> and no, I don't, I don't mean trash. It's literally made out of the things we find growing in nature. Here's the reason why she asked me to do this. In the school where she volunteers at and which my nieces attend, they decided to have this art contest. And in order to make it a little bit different, unique, and challenge the students to get out of their comfort zone, they will have children create an artwork out of natural things that are laying around. And when she reached out to me with that kind of request, I, of course, got extremely excited about it because, yes, it's linked to my childhood. <laughs> um, this is another one of those things that we used to do back in schools in Ukraine. And I think it's kind of like a school tradition even back there. I don't know if they still do it or not, but this particular tradition was called a fall art showcase in which we had to create something, some kind of artwork or art piece using all the natural things, all the um, things that we can find lying around, put it together in a very interesting, fun and creative way to make something out of it. So of course for me this kind of project is extremely fun. It takes me way back to those good old childhood days. <laughs> Um, so it's very much seasoned with nostalgia. Anyway, so this is what we're going to be doing in this video. We're going to be making an artwork with all the natural things. And this project is going to be very quick. It's not going to be perfect. It's going to be pretty messy even. There's going to be a hot glue and paint everywhere. So buckle up. But it's not meant to be perfect. It is meant to be fun and creative and very, very therapeutic, actually. <laughs> so let's get started, shall we? First, I need to create a display case for it, and I'm going to do that using this box. I cut away one side, open it up, and shorten the other two sides. To cover up that boring background, I'm going to use construction paper to create a sunset scenery. I tear it into strips and proceed to arrange it in collage style until it somewhat starts to resemble a sunset. sun. I use a cotton ball to add some white and fluffy clouds to my scenery. Then I fold in and glue the sides back. Thank you. 
I use the remaining cardboard which I cut off earlier to close off the hole and reinforce the bottom. This nice piece of cardboard I'm going to use to make the ocean. I measure and cut it down to the size and wrap it up in foil. Foil is a pretty cool trick to create watery surfaces, but make sure to use the shiny side. This project isn't meant to be long-lasting, so I didn't bother with using too much adhesive to glue the foil down. I glue my water to the bottom of the box, then I wrap one side of foil around the edge of the box for a cleaner finish. And now I'm going to build a little cliffside shore using these styrofoam pieces. I stack three of them on the top of each other to make it a little taller, glue them down and proceed to carve the edge to make it look like a rocky surface. And now you got yourself all this mess to deal with. I'm going to set this aside for now and start building a little lighthouse that's going to be sitting on that cliff. I use cardboard to create a structure base, which later I'm going to cover with rocks and sticks. I'd like to apologize for my lack of commentary here because I often find myself struggling for words trying to explain what I'm doing exactly. I usually don't do a lot of planning ahead and find myself spontaneously making things up as I go and that makes it really difficult to explain what's going on. <laughs> but I hope that you can see for yourself from this video and I still hope that you can learn something regardless me explaining or not, although I will, however, try to do the best that I can. <laughs> right now, I am making a little lighthouse tower by rolling up a strip of cardboard paper, then I cover it with white construction paper, draw on some windows, and that's good to go. ready for the roof, but before I do that, I still would like to add a little railing to my lighthouse tower deck. Now it's ready for the roof. I want my lighthouse to have a dome-shaped roof, so I'm going to replicate that using this egg carton.
fun part. I am going to make a little cabin that sometimes we see sits next to the lighthouse. Forgot to add the roof peaks. I would not make a very good architect. But that's okay, the situation can be easily corrected because our main material is cardboard. And now that it's finished, time to start decorating it. I'm going to use popsicle sticks to replicate the door. And I'm going to cover the entire house in a tree branch sticks to resemble a log texture. When that's done, I glue the roof and add a little porch to the front door. And what's a house without a cute little chimney? It's turning out really cute. Now I'm going to cover the roof in sunflower seed shells to replicate shingles. The house is finished and it's looking really adorable. Now it's time to decorate the tower itself. Very cute! Time to work on the roof! And for the tower roof, I use pumpkin seeds, just for a variety of reason. reasons. 
That's done, and now I'm going to build a little ship. I used this old bamboo placemat, which fell apart, to cover the ship. Yeah, I love to save stuff like that for a possible future art project that might come up. The bamboo strips that they use for those types of placemats are actually pliable enough to be bent to the curve of the ship. And to make my ship look more fairy tale like and whimsical, I use leaves for its sails.
the ship looks exactly how I imagine it to be. Now I'm going to paint the roof of my lighthouse and cabin red to give it some color pop. And I also give my door a coat of red to make it stand out a bit. Ah yes, mustn't forget about the chimney too. While that dries, I'm going to turn my attention back to our styrofoam cliffside shore. First I give it a light wash of a brown coat. Then I mix some more colors together to get more a desired shade of brown that I want. Yes, that's the one. Very nice. I add green blotches here and there to resemble moss. Then I dry brush on with the lighter color to highlight the raised areas of the rock. Adding some real moss really transforms that piece of foam and makes your land look almost realistic. Now let's put everything together, add some final touches and take a look at our end result.
All right, so that concludes our video. I hope that it helped you um, with your creative inspiration. As you can see, nothing complicated about this project. Everything is very easy to make. Um, all the supplies in this video are uh, very accessible and affordable and found pretty much anywhere. So um, if you have Amazon boxes, styrofoam, um, cardboard lying around, construction paper, pair of scissors and other tools, markers, paint, um, go outside, gather some sticks and leaves and rocks and whatnot and um, start creating. And who knows, maybe one day that will help you unlock your own artistic style. Um, so I hope it was inspirational, you guys. It's also a very fun project to do with your children. I know that this kind of artwork is not gonna last because um, of leaves and grass and branches, they dry out and they become brittle and crumple away. But this project was not meant to <laughs> last very long. It's just, um, it is purely for creative satisfaction. <laughs> um, anyway, thank you all so very much for watching. And also thank you so much for supporting my video, giving me all your likes and subscriptions. And um, I hope you guys all have a wonderful New Year's. Um, see you guys in the next video.